Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Polish campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. Round 2. So, the goal this episode, I think, is to start production of the 10 TP medium tank. See, this is what I want. This is what I want to see. I want to see four Four tanks. Four divisions of tanks. Where, why, why is purple going this way? Purple, what are you doing? Purple, you're supposed to be not doing that. They've got an eight skill general. There's the 10 TP. I think we just immediately start working on the 14 as well. And then we go to our production and, uh... Look at all these 9 TPs, Mark IIs. We're making so many of them. First off, let's make the variant. The 10 TP medium variant is going to have a little bit of reliability. It's going to have lots of armor. Um, it's going to have more reliability. And then it's going to have a little bit of main gun if we can. So reliability is at exactly 100%. Armor... Speed is slow, but that doesn't matter. We don't care about that. Armor 75. Sounds good. Okay, so... We're just going to immediately switch over pretty much all these lines. We'll keep two lines of the 9 TP going, but most are going to switch over to the 10 TP. And now we need to update our template. We need to have a copy of this. Duplicate. This is our 5 INF plus 1 AT plus. 1 AA. Plus 2 Art. Plus 1 MT. Medium tank. Save. Can it even be that long? Yes, it can. Okay, it's not being used by anything. Let's wait until we have some production. Oh, I actually need to modify it. That's right. <laughs> you can't just rename it and expect it to be better. No, you gotta change it to medium tank. Save for five. Okay, so, uh, the division equipment that it's allowed to use, then, would be the 10TP Mark II, Mark I. So as soon as we see some of those get produced, we've already got four. Making 5.3 per day, I mean, well, they're, they're gonna start coming off the production lines here pretty quick. If I had the ability to, let's see, we've got airplanes. Here, I have a thousand airplanes available. And very, very, very small airports. Here's what I'm gonna try doing. I'm gonna just take a thousand. Just send them out here. And then once they're out here, we'll try use them using the rebase function to see if we can maybe get them to spread out a little bit better. We have tons of free military factories available. 
Uh, why not make more 10 TPs? We now have 32. Each division requires 50. So we can start subbing in some of these. Let's give it a slightly different template layout. A lightning tank. Eh. It's not really about lightning tank. Sure. The devil horn. And let's upgrade. And some of these guys are even considered to be fresh. So we're getting so many reinforcements or something. If we're making 10 per day, then I want to start upgrading. Purple's going to be the one that's going to get these things first. Okay, um, we can modify our government. That's always nice. Air wings with no mission. Okay, so now that they've arrived... Central Asia, assign all. Closer support, rebase all where necessary. some of these damn tiny little airfields. That we're allowed to put our airplanes in. Can't even find him. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to playing on the next patch because there's some changes to air where you're allowed to like issue the commands before they've arrived and that kind of thing. Which is exactly what I what I want. Because like waiting for them to arrive, like it's just kind of such a pain. Okay, so we're no longer overbased anywhere. Anyone that's within in range. Okay, we've got fighters. We can go for some air superiority there. 
This airbase is overcrowded. Very well. It is what it is. Again, we have some excess medium tanks. There's all this exposed land. I feel like they should be pushing in on it. And if they aren't, I don't really understand why they're not. I know for sure, I can see by the, the highlighted arrow that they're they're all being told to ex execute their commands. Somehow we have control of this. I don't know when that happened or how. these guys off, but I think they still have some support. No, that could just be due to the mountains, I'm not sure though. I'm gonna do what I can to try to enclose this army in here. I think supply issues are still causing some major problems. Air wings with no mission. Okay, well, I feel like that's fine. I think they should have a mission. Go ahead. Go ahead and have a mission. What a very large front. I wonder if we ever did that naval invasion. Do you think that ever actually panned out? Did it happen? We had a planned naval invasion here. I signed boats. They had to plan for like... 80 days, 70 some days, one would assume that they'd be actually willing to go and, oh, I don't know, do the mission by now, but nope. Let's just try it over again, I don't know. Now it's saying we only need 35 days to prepare. It's not due to a lack of convoys. I don't- I just don't get it. I just- I just don't understand. Divisions assigned to this order. 
We've planned for two out of the days, but it doesn't show that the transports are being used. But then when I hover up here, it says we're transferring troops zero out of zero. But we have 1,370. So I guess, has it, has it got to be this issue that we can't actually get, get them in here or something? I don't really understand it. So, we don't worry about it. Okay, purple. Should be. Taking this. And purple's gonna march all the way down this way. We're gonna take purple. Your secondary plan. It's going to be to go along the coast. Twenty-four divisions, twenty-four divisions. Enact the entire plan. Shouldn't really be anything stopping them from functioning. How are we doing on medium tank production? We've got 500 of them available now. So, let's grab purple and replace 10 divisions. With the new ones, the mediums. Find one of these guys in the field and see that their armor is higher. I don't know that they've actually received all of their tanks. 59 of the 9 TP Mark II. I thought you are supposed to be using the 10 TP. All that matters is that slowly but surely we are advancing. These guys should get automatically reassigned to this. It says 11 divisions, 3rd army. I thought we had 71 assigned to this whole mission. There is still this up here. Why don't we grab half of you guys? I'm working on that. They do have some pretty damn good defense values. But it's only 10 combat width, that's his problem. He just has such bare-boned armies. The Japanese have even fewer people to fight their battles than we do.
Is he getting any closer to surrender? Not even a bit. All of his conquered territory means nothing to him, apparently. It's only his core holdings that matter. Such, such bad organization. Are you guys just like not capable of having high organization? 28 is not very good apparently. Maybe they keep on relocating and... This is giving land back to the British Raj. Which I don't really want to do. On the other hand, it's the German Reich, which we want to kill, so... Maybe we do fight them. Sixty-three divisions assigned here. Yep, there somehow definitely is multiple... Multiple orange front lines, and I don't know how that's happened. It's not been my goal. The six divisions that I assigned to this job, where are you? And why are you here? Unable to find valid path to target. What the hell are you talking about? It's right there. Yo, oh, you can't. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can't cross the strait. Interesting. Maybe that'll work this time, I'm not sure. And you, sir, can just move along the coast, because that's generally worked out well for me in the past. We now have 700 medium tanks. So that's another... Let's just grab all of purple. Tell everything in purple is going to be that that layout now. Which by tomorrow, I think, or maybe even next hour, is going to quickly update these numbers. We're already producing almost as many medium tanks as we produce light tanks on a daily basis. Grab blue, give him a second set of orders, expand down to here. It's slow going, but I feel like we are making progress. Um, getting all the way over to here is going to take a little bit of time, but then once we take uh, Tokyo, I don't know how we're going to do that. Considering we have, like, no naval superiority. These four poor tanks are trying. They're trying their best, but crossing this strait is going to be pretty, pretty brutal. Seven divisions, 84 combat width. They've got pretty good defense. 
And they are entrenched. They're only led by a level 3 commander, though. And maybe we can starve them out eventually. We'll see. For now, um, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.